Hi, we're gonna take a look at how to get your kids connected to Seesaw for home learning. So the biggest thing to know is that they can't just go onto their parents' phone at home and use the parent app. Parents can still use that to only view anything that's posted, but the kids can't actually create on there. So what we need to be able to do is get the class app on a device at home. So kids can use um, either a tablet or a phone, that's fine. If they wanna use one of those two devices and they need to go to the App Store or Google Play Store and download the Seesaw class um, app. It's called Seesaw the Learning Journal. If kids are using a computer or a Chromebook or a desktop at home, they just go to seesaw.me or Google Seesaw and then they'll log into the app that way. Whether they're on the phone or the computer or tablet, um, they will press the I'm a student button just like they always do. But when they get there, instead of scanning the QR code like they've probably been doing in class, what we're going to do today is send them a home learning code. So the thing about this home learning code is it's going to be only for them. It's private. So they will not see anybody else's work. They'll only see their work. Nobody will see their work. It's just you and the students and it will allow them to post by pressing the green button just like always. And if you post activities, then they can do activities. So it's going to be a really significant single place. If you have more than one student um, using the same computer, they will have to sign in and out. Um, so they'll want to keep that code around. So here's what we're going to do. You should see on your screen. Uh, now I used to have a big blue button here and I'm not sure if my computer just isn't loading right now or if I've already used that up <laughs> that says get home learning codes. If you have a blue button, you can see I have this little sunshine instead here. Uh, you can click on that or you can go to the wrench and under the wrench it has a new thing down here called uh, Home Learning Student Codes. Oh yeah, so I think it's just my computer. It should look a little different when you get this. Um, it'll have a button that says print codes or download codes. Uh, I think it's just an issue with my computer right now loading. And so fortunately I have it printed. It'll look something like this. So you will see that there's a page for each student, just like there was a parent invite for each student when parents originally signed up. So this is student 12, this is student 13. So you could print those if you're gonna see the kids and send them home. Here's another way that will work just snifty. What I've done is I have copied all of the text on here, including this 12 digit code right in the middle. That's what they need. So what I'm gonna do now, this is student 12. So I'm gonna go back to my class. Let's try to get out of there. Go back to my class. Okay, we're gonna go back to my class and now I'm going to tap on the inbox because I'm gonna send a message and I'm gonna choose student 12. That's whose um, information I copied. So I would have to do this for each student, but you know, that's probably a fairly quick and easy way to get it directly to the parents. Um, so now at the very bottom where I'm gonna type in my message at the bottom, I'm actually just gonna copy and paste that message, hide that little guy, and then I'm gonna send this. And so now this message is going to go into the parents' um, regular app, just like they would get all the pictures of their students from school. So what you've done is essentially you've just messaged the student's code to the parents app. There's this, again, this uh, 12 digit number here or 12 digit item. Um, the students will then use that to log into the class app. So when they log into the class app or on the website, they press I'm a student and then they get that little camera that they can um, either scan the QR code if you've managed to get that to them or they type in this code and that takes them right in. And then, I don't know if you can see here, but now I'm logged in as student 12 into the PD session classroom and there I can see um, this same post that's already been posted to everybody. So that would be one way to get that special student learning code into um, to the parents. And then the students would just log in on a device. Please contact me if you need me to help you out with that.